man injured as explosions and fire ripped through a Porthcawl nightclub. Bank holiday tragedies as a toddler and a pensioner drown off West Wales. Sponsors of the controversial South African rugby tour say protests won't stop play. Welsh bone marrow charity tries to hit the charts with help from rock legend Queen. And 50 years on, North Wales evacuees come back to meet their second mother. Good evening. Police say a fire which caused over a million pounds worth of damage to a Porthcawl nightclub may have been started deliberately. It took 70 firemen almost three and a half hours to bring the blaze, the worst the town has ever seen, under control. Now detectives want to talk to a couple who may hold vital clues about the fire at the Stonely Club was started. The fire was discovered around one this morning. A passing policeman saw smoke and flames inside the club. Soon the building was entirely ablaze. The former cinema engulfed in a ball of flame 30 feet high. At its peak, 11 tenders and two hydraulic cranes battled for control. Four firemen were injured as they worked in the intense heat. Quite a lot of debris was falling down all the time around us. And uh, one of the panes of glass, we, uh, I think it was anyway, shattered and using the branch and moving forward, it fell down and shattered and cut the side of my wrist with five stitches. Once the fire got, got a hold under the roof of this building and fanned by the reasonable breeze there was at the time, it was a severe fire which was very difficult to contain. People living in nearby homes were evacuated until the fire was contained just before dawn. Were you worried it might spread to other buildings here? Oh yeah, well we were worried we to get out of the house. You know, we didn't look at it, we lived right, right behind it. And that's it. So the fire engine came down and they seemed to be pretty confident, you know, and that was it. Yeah. In the cold light of day, the extent of the damage became clear. The club itself had been completely gutted. Two shops and a restaurant in the same block were also badly damaged. Police spent the day sifting through the rubble to try and establish how the fire started. They want to talk to a couple thought to have been near the club at about midnight. They're described as having Valley's accents. The club, which is owned by a Jersey-based company, was forced to shut last year. Local magistrates refused to renew its license and it's now in the hands of receivers. It's the second time there's been a fire there this year. The last one, exactly seven months ago, caused only minor damage. The biggest fires the resort has ever known and two firemen were injured as they fought it in the early hours. The police say they cannot rule out the possibility that it was arson. Firemen were still damping down through most of this morning. At one point, 70 firemen and 10 fire engines were needed from mid, south and west Glamorgan. It took them five hours to bring it under control. The club itself, which is now gutted, hadn't been operating for some time. Two men injured fighting the blaze were taken to hospital with cuts, one soon back on duty. A piece of glass fell through a window, shattered window, and uh, cut me on the side of the wrist. I have five stitches in the side of the wrist. From a very early stage of the fire, we contained it within this premise, these premises, and so there was no danger of it spreading elsewhere. But of course, with a blaze of this severity, that uh, things can be a little bit unpredictable. Families next to the Stone League Club were up through the night, frightened their own homes were at risk. When we heard it first of all, it was the furthest part of the dome the smoke was all coming out from underneath. But at 6 o'clock this morning, this part went, and it was just flame shooting everywhere. It was dreadful. Have you seen anything like, quite like that before? Oh, no, nothing like that before. Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, Never been so you felt the heat from here? You could feel the heat in, actually in the house. A fire investigation team has been sifting through debris all day to find the cause, and the police inquiries are continuing.